Hello, my dear students. Today's lesson is potable water, reading comprehension. Now, I want you to read carefully, find the meaning of the new words, and underline the important lines. Try also to understand what the pictures are about. What are these buildings? Have you ever seen them before? What are they used for? Why are they so important to us? Let us read the text to get the main idea. Just skim the passage. How do you get the main idea of the passage? You should read the passage to answer this question. What is the passage about? Let's read together. What do you know about water? Well, a person can live without food for more than a month, but a person can live without water for only a week. Water helps us to keep healthy and is very important to us. Where do we get our water from in Kuwait? Two thirds of the earth is covered in water but we can only drink a little of it. Most of the water is seawater, but people can drink it. Rich countries like Kuwait take the salt out of the seawater to make drinking water. It is difficult to do this. They have to build desalination plants, which are very expensive. They keep the water in towers around the country. Kuwait towers are famous over the world and they hold water too. Many people around the world do not have safe drinking water. Every year, many people die because they drink dirty water. We need water in our homes, in factories, and for farming. It is important to use water carefully and we should never waste it. Now, I have a question for you. Read the question carefully before answering it. What is the main idea of the text? Let's read the options. A. A person can live without water for a month. B. Two thirds of the earth is covered in water. C. Water is very important for our life. D. The Kuwait Towers are famous around the world. Did you get the answer? What do you think? The answer is C. Very good. Water is very important for our life. How do you find the main idea? It should be general idea. It shouldn't be specific. Now, let's focus on specific information of each paragraph. Don't forget, focus on specific information. Let's read the question together. What is a desalination plant? That's a specific question. Let's find the answer. Where do we get our water from in Kuwait? Two thirds of the earth is covered in water, but we can only drink a little of it. Most of the water is seawater but people can drink it. Rich countries like Kuwait take the salt out of the seawater to make it drinking water. It is difficult to do this. They have to build desalination plants, which are very expensive. They keep the water in towers around the country. Kuwait towers are famous over the world and they hold water too. Did you find the answer? Let's read the options together. A. Produces electricity to help people. B. Purifies salty water to become drinkable. Or C. Purifies oil to be usable. D. Plants trees for better environment. So, what's the answer? Very good. The answer is B, 
purify salty water to become drinkable. Did you know why? Let's go back to the sentence. Let's read the sentence together. Rich countries like Kuwait take the salt out of the seawater to make it drinking water. It is difficult to do this. They have to build desalination plants, which are very expensive. So, did you find the answer? Because desalination plants take up the salt water of the seawater. So, this is what they do. Now, pay attention. Check this question. The underlined pronoun they in the eighth line refers to. Now, my dear students, I'll show you a way to find what does the pronoun they refer to. Let's read the sentence which includes that pronoun. Kuwait towers are famous over the world and they hold water too. Did you get the answer? Let's read the options. A. People B. Kuwait towers C. Rich countries or D. Desalination plants. So, what do you think the answer is? The answer is B. Kuwait towers. How did we know? Since a pronoun stands in place of a noun, look back over your sentence and see what's the last possible answer. Just like we did. Let's read the sentence again. Kuwait towers are famous over the world and they hold water too. So, they refers to Kuwait Towers. Very good. Now, the next question. Why do some people die in poor countries? Let's read the paragraph. Many people around the world do not have safe drinking water. Every year, many people die because they drink dirty water. We need water in our homes, in factories, and for farming. It is important to use water carefully, and we should never waste it. Did you get the answer? Let's read the options. Why do some people die in poor countries? Because they A. Have desalination plants B. Never waste water C. Drink dirty water or D. Have safe drinking water So, the answer is C. Very good. Drink dirty water. How did we know? Again, in the paragraph, let's read the highlighted sentence. Every year, many people die because they drink dirty water. Now, my dear students, let's read the question together. What is the opposite of the underlined word rich? Don't forget, an opposite is the antonym. Okay? Let's read the paragraph again. Two-thirds of the earth is covered in water, but we can only drink a little of it. Most of the water is seawater, but people can drink it. Rich countries like Kuwait take the salt out of the seawater to make drinking water. It is difficult to do this. They have to build desalination plants, which are very expensive. They keep the water in towers around the country. Kuwait towers are famous over the world and they hold water too. What is the opposite of the underlined word rich? Is it A. Weak B. Happy C. Poor or D. Hard Did you get the answer? It's easy. The answer is poor. Very good. Rich and poor are opposites. They are antonyms. Excellent. You see here in the picture, people who are rich, they have expensive houses. And people who are poor, they own cheap houses. Answer the following question. Use your own ideas. Why is water important in our life? What do you think? Is it important? It is. It is very important. 
I'll give you some hints. Water is important for drinking, cleaning, staying healthy, and to be used in factories and farms. Of course, there are many other uses for water, but these are the most important. Now, I would like you to open your workbook, page 29. We will answer questions 1, 2, and 3. Let's read the question together. Use the words in the box to finish the paragraph. The words are expensive, desalination plants, factories, without, cold, little, built, and rich. Okay, let's start reading the paragraph. There is very blank fresh water in Kuwait. Do we have a lot or the answer is little. Very good. We don't have a lot of fresh water. Very good. Now, the second sentence. People use seawater for drinking. Blank the salt. What should we do here? What kind of water do we drink? We drink water that is without salt. Very good. The answer is here, without. Okay, the third blank. Let's read the sentence. It is very blank to take the salt out of the seawater. So, number three. It is very what? It is very expensive. Very good. It's very expensive to take the salt out of the seawater. Okay, the fourth and fifth and sixth blank are in one sentence. Let's read it. Kuwait is a blank country and can blank and blank. Let's find the answers. Kuwait is a very good rich country and can the answer is build what? What can Kuwait build? Kuwait can build desalination plants. Very good. Now the seventh blank these blank make the seawater safe to drink. These, what do you think? Very good, factories. Desalination plants are factories. Okay, let's find the last blank. Towers around the country hold the drinking water. The towers in the photo are famous, beautiful, and very useful too. One has got a restaurant, another gives light, and two of them hold enough water for all of Kuwait City. They are blank the Kuwait Towers. The last word here is called. Very good. They are called the Kuwait Towers. Let's read the second question. Match the definitions with the pictures and write the words. You see the pictures here? A, B, and C. The first one, it looks like, what do you think? I think it's a lake. B, what is this picture? I think it looks like a factory. And the last one, water in a glass, so it should be drinking water. Okay, let's match the pictures with the definitions. Number one, a place where things are made. What do you think? It's a factory. Very good. So, you should write the word factory in the blank and put the letter B before the definition. Very good. Now, number two, a large area of water with land around it. It should be a lake. Excellent. You should write the word lake in the blank and write the letter A before the definition. Now, number three. Water which is safe to drink. The answer is drinking water. Excellent. Write down drinking water and put the letter C before the definition. Now, the third question. Match the words and pictures. Let's read the options. Number one, 
two, number two, two thirds, number three, one third, and the last one is one. Try to match these options with the pictures down below. You see, there are pizza. So, put the correct number with the suitable picture. The first one is one pizza. So, we should put the number four. It's one. Very good. Try to do the rest on your own. Now, in this episode, we learned how to skim and scan a reading passage, guess synonyms and antonyms of words in a passage, and lastly, find out reference of pronouns. Thank you for watching.